To me personally, it feels like the greatest thing that I've ever done in my life. This is all cat litter. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jill. I'm Kenny. And we live in Akushnet, Massachusetts. Akushnet is a small town located about halfway between Providence, Rhode Island and Cape Cod. We live on a small farm that my grandparents purchased in 1954. And it's a kind of a very well-known, iconic little spot that most people who are townies around here know of. I grew up here. I spent my summers here. I worked on the farm. My grandfather was a World War II veteran. Part of his healing process was working on this farm and working the land. So it was corn, potatoes, tomatoes, like a whole variety of just your standard vegetables. But they had so many that he started to give them away to all of the neighbors. I started taking over the farm in 2007. Kenny was at a store one day and he was standing behind a man who was shopping and he was counting out literal change to buy a can of cat food. He was driving home and thinking about that and thinking how many other people there were, particularly during this time of a pandemic, but just in general. So we have a town Facebook page and he commented on it that he wondered if there was anything in the area that offered like a food pantry for pets. Why don't we use the farm stand? It just sits there empty during most of the year. Once it blew up on the Facebook page, we took a couple hundred dollars and we got six Rubbermaid totes, dog food and cat food in dry and wet varieties. And we put it out at our farm stand. The news that had heard about us and wanted to come down and do a story on us. It aired the next morning and we had a line of cars out front of people dropping off stuff. We had to go multiple times and get more totes because we just had so many people bringing donations to us. We've had a, a lot of people that were really, really grateful that thanked us. Have a good day, man. A beautiful day. Thank you, guys. We never thought that there would be like 100 people or 150 people a week using it. We thought that maybe two or three people might use it one time and then we would it would be over. We organize it, we provide it a place, we may have come up with a very quick idea, but this is completely a community effort. Everything that we have out there is a donation from somebody, whether it's friends, family, our community, total strangers. So we do a very small part in, in this, I really believe. But it also feels really good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like I get voice messages of people crying that it gives them dignity. They don't feel like they're being watched. They don't feel like they're getting garbage for their animals to eat. To me personally, it feels like the greatest thing that I've ever done in my life almost. On our Facebook page right now, a Cushnet Pet Food Pantry. At the very top of it, we have a blue button that's a shop now, which has our wish list, which we are constantly updating for what we are low in stock on. We gladly accept absolutely anything because we go through a huge amount of product every week so we're constantly looking for new things it would be nice to see other people do things like this it's just a way to make a very subtle very simple change in your life that can help other people a lot i i, I literally can't speak i'm crying so hard hon can you give me some tissue please um welcome to our home and please just let me say from the bottom of my soul, thank you so much for what you do for people. You know, just like it's hard for people to find dignity in taking human food, it's even harder, I would imagine, to watch a man at a register counting his pennies to feed his cat. What you do is so beautiful. I just love it so much. Nutrish, I'm proud to say, has raised uh, tens of millions of dollars through the sales of our food. Um, we are going to send a truckload of our support and I'll go heavy on the cat and a little less on the dog. And um, I'm gonna make sure we get some toys and beds in there too. You know, animals do not live by food alone. Rachel, thank you so much. I mean, that's, it's coming to do like crazy things for people.